Well, you mentioned cubism, and um, I show uh, you here a painting um, called Like a Leaf from 1983 against um, a, uh, an interior, a domestic still life, if you will, by uh, Juan Gris. Um, I, I'm put in mind of Gris a lot when I look at your work. Was he of particular interest to you among the cubists? Yeah, I I really am always at a loss to say why, because he's like the most uptight of the of the cubists. Maybe there's a connection with Moreau with Greece for me too, mm-hmm. because I think they are very connected, although people don't talk about the two of them at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I and Moreau reached his um, the high points of his work after Gris was dead, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm sure he, they, they knew each other and were connected mm-hmm. in some way. But yeah, I, I love Gris more than Brock, mm-hmm. really. It, Brock's cubism, although, you know, that was his in league with Picasso in that period of time. Cubism made a permanent imprint on me when I was a student. Um, and the things I loved about it were, for instance, the use of the print, the bringing the daily, ordinary life into the painting, which is what they did, and making fun of it. There's an inc- incredible wit mm-hmm. in Cubism that I just really love, and I relate it to pop art, really, um, that I think is just part of my work. Mm-hmm. I, it really was a powerful and is a powerful influence. It's not mm-hmm. something I think about anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, all those things just get ingested, mm-hmm. and they just become part of you, like your DNA, you mm-hmm. know, your DNA of painting. 